we've got this conducting box that's moving through a magnetic field. Um, the velocity of the box is going to be in the I direction, and the magnetic field is in the Y direction, the J direction. So we can tell that if we go through this, we're going to have like the V and then crossing with the uh, B, that direction is going to give us a force going upwards um, this way in like the Z direction. That's going to be the force from the magnetic field and stuff. And if we do that, then what's going to happen is inside this box, um, the charges, because it's a conductor, um, all of a sudden the charges are going to kind of like move around and you're going to get the positive going up here at the top. And then uh, the negatives are going to show up towards the bottom over here. So that's going to give us this potential difference in here, which is the electric field. And because the electric field is in this direction, um, and let's just do one arrow here, but we could see how the force would be up and the electric field would be down. And so now uh, we're going to have these sort of two opposing forces. So we can sort of represent that over here saying that uh, the FB is supposed to be QVB and the force from the electric field is supposed to be um, QE. And because these two things are opposing each other, um, they're supposed to be equal. So uh, we're just gonna say QVB equals QE. Um, and uh, yeah, so we should be able to cancel this stuff out. We'll get that E equals VB. And from there, we should be able to plug in those numbers, 23.9 times the uh, 32.4 uh, micro millitesla or something. And we'll be able to multiply that. So we'll say that 23.9 times 32.4, that's that, is going to be e to the negative, uh, let's see, 0 0.77436. And this should be volts per meter. Now they also want to know the potential difference. So that's going to be delta v which is supposed to be equal to the electric field times the delta x that it's going through. But well, what is the distance here that it's going through? It's the z direction, so we're going to use this one. So we're going to say that delta v is supposed to be equal to the e, which is that, 0 0.77436 times 1.54 meters. And we should be able to... Um, Or should get like uh, the delta V is about 1.19 volts. All right, not too bad.